Building systems for data-driven decision-making is too difficult. We're here to make it easier. Too often, data practitioners and their less technical stakeholder colleagues struggle to communicate. That's if an organization has the appropriate resources. We realize that most teams don't have and won't ever have the 50 data scientists that the LA Dodgers, for example, have, or the 500 that many big corporations employ. Therefore, building and maintaining everything by hand from scratch feels a bit like pushing a rock up a hill. When everything's ad hoc and takes longer than you'd like, that caps our output and the overall impact of the data that you have and the work that you do. The reality is a modern data system takes time to build. Cloud architecture alone can take years. And a, and a data lake with sports data pipelines aligned and all talking to each other, it just takes a long time and it takes more hires than we often have resources for or can get approved because software doesn't require health insurance. Even when you have your data foundation set up, teams still need even more resources to turn that into actionable machine learning. In sports, teams typically have one or two overstretched practitioners who actually know how to build predictive models, and that leaves decision makers constantly wanting more. Big businesses typically budget multiple millions and years to put together their data systems by stitching together all of these component parts. This is where Gemini comes in. We automate foundational infrastructure and provide best-in-class machine learning tools so that many members of staff, even the less technical ones, can ask questions of their data and arrive at informed decisions faster. There's no magic wand that will clean your data for you or provide coachable insights. But for everything in between, Gemini makes processes easier and faster. Our platform meets you where you are and gets you to where you're going faster. Pull your models in, take your insights out, connect your own database, or use a cloud that we create for you. To be clear, we're not here to tell you how to do your job. You are the subject matter experts, and you make the important decisions. But for more technical users, our product allows you to do your job faster and more efficiently, while for the ultimate decision makers, our product gives you the power to do things that you can't do today. Let's look at an example. We all want to know what the right price for a player is, because we're not Chelsea, so we need to get the right value. One way to optimize value is to establish an informed set point, whether you're on the buying or the selling side, to start negotiations. You can use many data sources to inform this, such as on-field event metrics, transfer history, or text-based scouting reports using NLP, which is a new feature of ours. Let's walk through an example of how a user can do this in the Gemini application. Please rest assured this is just an example. It's not productionalized or fine-tuned, but this, this kind of tooling can apply to many other use cases. We start with clean pipeline data. All of your team data and mutual partner data is integrated, aligned, and securely available in the application. All you have to do is click the database that you want and the table that you need to build your project. For the performance input, we'll use some StatsBomb data, and once that's loaded, Users can explore the data so that you know what you're working with before getting into the modeling. To build the most effective model, as we know, it's typically necessary to join multiple tables from different sources. So in our low-code tool, you can easily combine different inputs. Here we added a helper table from the Gemini staff, created as an example to show how easy it is to merge the data that you need. Personally, when I worked in high performance as a sports scientist, this would have allowed me to assemble new queries for my uh, stakeholders that I was answering to much faster than the time that it took me to learn and fail Python. Now, every team has different needs and styles, so we've made it as easy as possible for, practitioner, for practitioners to enrich their data sets with attributes that they know are more informative than the base data alone. Users can manipulate with point and click, or if they want to, they can write SQL right in here, based on their personal preferences in the editor. In this example, we added a column for year plus one, so we can align the public transfer data that we use to inform this model. You can see here how simple it is to filter and add a custom column. Now that we've built a data set, it's time to run a prediction. Bear in mind, a decision maker, if they wanted to, could just jump into the application right here with something that a colleague had provided for them. 
In our prediction wizard, users can go from data to insights in three steps. To start, choose the training data set from a curated, curated data set, a previous prediction, or a CSV file. Choose if you want to do um, classification, clustering, or time series, or a regression. There's automatic exploration of different columns, which we call feature discovery, which is just semi-automated feature engineering. And we're constantly adding new features in here to improve our platform partners, because you can see data in, data out. You need an accurate model. You can decide to test against new data or just rerun with new training models. Now we have what's called automated machine learning. This is pulling 30 or 40 models from the cloud and running them against one another. So you can go set up a prediction, get a cup of coffee, and come back to insights. This automated machine learning is used across industries. I'll talk about that in a minute. But you can rest assured that the most advanced algorithms from all of the major online packages are coming in and ready for you to use. If this workflow feels like an uncomfortable shift, I understand. You can start by using this application to go from 0 to 80 very quickly, and then iterate it with APIs to pull things out and fine tune it by hand on your own. Self-service AI is nothing new. Uh, AI clouds, automated machine learning, and integrated data platforms, such as the ones that we're built on top of, are used by some of the best businesses in the world so that they can operate at the highest level. Elon Musk realizes that building this himself is not the most efficient thing. Once your modeling done, once your modeling is done, you can check how it performed to get comfortable prior to making decisions. Look at the specifics of the chosen model and how to evaluate it, including the relationship between predicted and actual results. Look at the importance of different features and how to evaluate them. See the importance and what's included in the model so that you can understand why it's saying what it's saying. By reducing the time between question and insight, our wizard here allows you to iterate on models quickly and compare two or more different iterations before arriving at a decision. Coming back to our transfer fee example here, you can see that public transfer market value had the biggest influence on our model, which is not a surprise. But this allows those subject matter experts to gut check this with how comfortable they are before moving on or going back with more features or even less features sometimes. Once you feel confident in the model, toggle into the prediction insights to explore the outputs. See the spread of results at a glance or dive deeper into specific results by searching for a row and comparing them in a spider graph. Here we're looking at Neymar because our Brazilian data scientist built this video. The most exciting aspect of this, in my mind, is that we're a very young company, so we're constantly improving based on user feedback. Two features currently in beta are text models and what-if analysis. Digitize and leverage your subject matter experts, such as scouting reports, and post-match analysis alongside your more tabular objective data to make things more multidimensional and bring the non-technical folks closer to the data. Um, I'm told that I won't be invited back next year if I don't mention ChatGPT during this talk, so let's just say this is step one in allowing users to talk to their data. What if analysis is another, is another feature coming? It allows users to stay in a single dashboard and click around. For example, let's look at how one prospect would uh, rise or, or decrease in their price if we buy them this year versus next year. You can click in and say, what would they cost if they scored three more goals this year? At Gemini, we feel strongly that you as the subject matter expert shouldn't have to spend undue time or resources building your systems or your queries manually. We're here to support your work by putting best-in-class technologies in your hands in a way that's built just for sports. I'm pretty excited to be here at my first StatsBomb conference, and I'd love to hear what ideas you have, what data problems you're encountering, and how Gemini can help. Come upstairs and talk to us at our booth. We've got a whole crew over here from Miami. I'd like to thank Ted, Charlotte, Simon, Katie, Lisa, everyone from StatsBomb. Excited for this partnership to grow, and I'd, I'd love to take your questions from here. Thanks for your time.